things, Brendan. That's right. We're in the kitchen this morning with Chef Jason and Timothy from Troop and also eating with the ecosystem. Now, we have a beautiful seafood dish today. So what are we making today? So we're going to do some grilled scallops with a simple, very simple cucumber relish, a little bit of ponzu that we're gonna make and some fresh basil. Um, this is gonna be my opening course for the dinner on the 18th for eating with the ecosystem. That's right, and so there's gonna be a really great fundraiser coming up. It's gonna be called Fishes at the Fort, yep. and you're gonna be involved in that. So we're yes. gonna have more information on that throughout the show today, which we're so excited about. And like you said, so this is gonna be one of the dishes that this you're This is just one of the appetizer courses for the cocktail hour okay. that happens there. So again, you know, when you show up, There'll be, there's some other great chefs there, um, as long as myself who's going to be there. So there's going to be some appetizers, it's going to be a four course meal. So it should be, overall, it should be a great day for a great cause. So what ingredients do you have over here? Because these are beautiful colors over Okay, here. so like what summer. we have, um, so we have some lemon, so we have some lemon, some lime, cucumber obviously for our oh, relish, yeah. pretty, pretty major part. Um, little garlic, ginger, shallots, those are just some kind of accessories for our sauce here. Um, again, some fresh basil. We have some little tiny basil for, for garnish. Basil. It's really so nice, good. really, really yes. fragrant. Um, and then we have these scallops. Oh, look at this, the main ingredient over here. Which, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to skewer. We're going to skewer these and then we're going to sear them on our grill plate. Again, very, very simple, easy summer dish that you could even pull off at home. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, again, very simple, straightforward, uh, some really nice, fresh summer flavors for everyone to try. You know, and that's a good point. Is that something that you look for when you're even creating any kind of recipe or dish, something that could be made at home? For the most part, well, at the restaurant, maybe not so much, but for things like this and you want to try to make things ex as accessible as possible so that people, you know, when they, especially when they're seeing this here, yeah. they could say, oh, I could recreate that. It's easy. It's a couple of ingredients. It's not a lot of work. Right. So it's low stress. So it's something that, you know, you're not going to like pull your hair out trying to get done if you had to, you know, entertain or Absolutely. even for your family at home. Well, I'm excited to see this come together right. today. So excited to have you here with us. Excited to be here. Thank and you. And right now, too, we're going to toss it over to Will, who's actually outside right now, who's going to be talking more about this great fundraiser that's coming up, Fishes at the Fort. Will, take Thank, it over to you. Thanks so much. We are back in the kitchen with Jason from Troop and also eating with the ecosystem. We're making a delicious sea scallop recipe today. What is the next step? I know that you put those scallops already on the skewers. So, and seasoned. So the scallops are skewered season so now we're going to let our grill plate get hot okay and once this gets hot this literally is going to take no time about two minutes so when we're at the fort we're going to actually be using a small wood fire grill oh, okay. so if you don't have a wood fire grill at your house if you have a grill plate yep. in your home works just as well you still kind of pick up those flavors and again from from being outside at least the you know the the eye appeal at least Absolutely. from the grill marks and all that so we could start building. Yeah. So what we're going to do. What do you want me to do? Anything? Or can you know I what? Watch? I think you're good right there. Just kind of hang out. All right. That's easy. All right. Thank you, Jason. Just hang that out. You know great. what? Listen, I try to make this See? easy for everybody. So we have our cucumber, which is finely diced. Again, when you're at home, if you don't have the knife skills to do that, right. you, could, you could basically do this however you would like. But for the purposes of um, the event, I diced them like this. I love that. Oh my God. So I love cucumbers, cucumbers are going to go that. in and a little bit of our uh, fresh basil. Oh, looks so good. And so to this, we're going to add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. And what we'll do with this is this is kind of a step that you could do ahead. Okay. You just blend it all could, that together. And you could let, let this sit and kind of let the salt and the sugar draw some of that water out of the cucumber. Okay. So it's texture wise a little bit, not to say all the way soft, but it kind of gently seasons and lets that water kind of come out, kind of helps with the overall dressing in the oh, dish. That sounds so good. Okay. Okay. Oh, so what we'll do step. here, real simple again, and we'll kind of just put this aside till we get the plating. This is our house made, this is our homemade pon ponzu. All right, we're gonna dump that in. Right in. And so for the ponzu, what I have here is I have a half a cup of tamari, I have a half a cup of water, I have some brown sugar, some white sugar, some shallots, garlic, and some ginger. Yep. Throw that in a pan, some lemon juice and lime juice as well. If you don't have lemon juice or lime juice and you have access to an Asian market, you can use yuzu juice, which I have here. Oh, that's a good substitute, okay. So this is a really good substitute for that. So put it in the pan, bring it to a boil, you basically just want the sugar to dissolve. Let it sit overnight, walk away, and, and then and then we have this, which is slightly reduced in pan. Some of our ponzu, again, that's gonna help us with our uh, with finish our, our, with our plating. Looks amazing. Okay. Okay. So is that our nice grill, and hot? This is, our grill is about ready to go. Okay. 
I um, love it. We're just going to oil our scallops here, our skewers. And I know that you said that you've been working with the, uh, obviously eating with the ecosystem for yes. a bit now. So why was it so important for you to be part of this great fundraiser that's coming up on the 18th? It's going to fishes at the fort. I, I think for, for me personally, I mean, yes, working with um, that group has been, has always been fun. Yeah. And I like to kind of step out and if, you know, we're invited to do things and yeah, we, we jump at those opportunities because again, it's, you know, not only it's, it's great to have that they're bringing awareness of some fish that are in our waters right here that right. are completely like underutilized and not like under, you know, not say underfish, but they're, their flavors are so great and people always run to your typical, to your typical cod, yeah. tuna, like salmon, which we don't, you know, if we're not in the Northwest, you know what I mean? So again, I, I like the idea of what they're trying to do and the message that they're trying to bring. And again, we like working with other chefs, yeah. which I'm always excited to work with new people and it's, it's always great to kind of see what other people are doing in the field and we have an opportunity to kind of, you know, bump elbows, rub elbows, yeah, and cook with some. Yeah, the lineup is amazing. Yeah, the lineup is great. So it's always nice to cook with some new people. And I think those are some of the things that really get me excited about doing events like this. And this is obviously the appetizer, one of the appetizers. This is this is yeah. one of four appetizers. So again, and you're right, real you simple. Do, these do this is going to go quick. quick. Huh? Yeah. So we're just going to give the second side a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay. It's a great showing to actually have too at the event. People even just watching. Yeah. This is so great. So again, this is going to be done over. Oh well. That could happen. That could happen. And you still make it work. Yeah. See? So And so what do you end up doing for the for the plating? So you obviously So take the plating is gonna be very simple. Um so we're gonna take our cucumber, which is, you know, with about a half hour out if you did this, yep. you're right we'll on time. Done. Okay. Looks so good. And again, we're gonna actually do And Jason's gonna keep working on this. We're gonna get a full finished plate too at the end of the show. Looks so good. Smells delicious over here too. Loved having you part of the show today. This is well, so thank you great. for having me. And make sure to you check out all the information over at Roger.com too, also about fishes at the fort as well. Back to you guys.